Good evening, everyone. There's been a slight typo. My lightning talk is not going to be about software architecture. It's going to be about software comma architecture. This is a C++ conference. So I want hands in the air to tell me what that comma will do. We are left with architecture, because the left side is evaluated and discarded as a result. I took this, this picture last September, this September actually, in Seattle, after CPVCon, and I was inspired by the architecture of that beautiful city. And I wanted to explore architecture as a discipline, because it has enabled humanity for the past 2,000 years to create beautiful structures that help us and enrich our lives. So architecture, it's all about structures. It, it's the process of creating and it's the result of planning, designing, and constructing structures. But not all structures are equal. We have good ar architecture, and how would we define that? Well, I put out to you that good architecture is the result of useful structures. They, ha they also have to be durable and aesthetically pleasing, what we call beautiful. They inspire us. And I'm going to be showcasing three such structures to you. The first one, who knows this building? It's an iconic building, one of 20th century's uh, most known ones. It has defined, redefined architecture. It's the Sydney Opera House. It's a beautiful venue where millions of people go every year. It was one of the first buildings to use computer-aided design. It pioneered new materials in order to be built. And it took 14 years to build. But why? Why so long? Because it was riddled with cost and scheduling overruns. The end result was beautiful, but the processes in involved were not. It went <laughs> a little bit over budget. And the main architect resigned, yet a beautiful building. Let's look at another one. This is a recent one in Las Vegas. Does anyone recognize this? It opened in 2009 in Las Vegas and has a gorgeous pool outside where people can relax, enjoy the sun, and have a nice refreshing bath in the summer. But a problem, the death ray. Because of its concave shape, the sun got reflected directly into the pool. And the summer was a bit too hot for the people. It was called the solar convergence problem. Extreme heat reported a year later, and workarounds were taken. Then, the same architect, a few years <laughs> in London, the, the walkie-talkie building, because of its shape, surely the problem was solved by then. Four years later, 200 million pounds. Again, the sun. It was 90 degrees Celsius, enough to cook an egg on the sidewalk. It was then redubbed the Walking Scorchy. And it was awarded the 2015 prize for being the worst new building in the new UK for the past year. <coughs> Praise all over the place. It's a challenge finding something positive about that building. A daily reminder that such a planning disaster should never happen again. So, 
Sydney reminds us, exploring the unknown can be very costly, but ultimately rewarding and we can obtain truly something beautiful. Structures should be tested more, especially from the outside. Bad designs should be dropped. The sunken cost fallacy is very expensive. And too much sun <laughs> is very bad. I'm Gabriel. This was my talk. Enjoy the rest of the conference. <laughs>